Hey guys, Titan here, the lead programmer and founder for Epic Duel. It's been a little while since we've done an update, but we've been saving up for a really good one, and this update introduces a huge feature that a lot of players have been asking for for a long time, and that's class change. Up to this point, um, or at least prior to this past weekend, if you wanted to play as a different character class, you couldn't. Uh, right now I'm a tech mage, there's really no other way for me to play as a mercenary other than going and creating a new character. So what we did was we've created a way in-game that at any point you can go and switch your character class. And it's actually introduced through a new area. We've opened up the Overlord facility. It just find Oz, the screen where Oz is in the train hub. You'll see door number six has opened, and this is going to board you on the train to the Overlord facility. We have a new map location, and all kinds of new graphics that Knight Wraith created for the Overlord facility. It's basically a military base, and you'll meet some really cool characters here. I'm going to make my way left one screen, and you'll actually notice that I'm on a, I'm on a new bike. There's two new bikes introduced in this release. Um, let's see, we have the Hyperium Pod and the Assault Bike. The assault, let's put the Assault Bike on, actually. That is a huge bike. Check that out. I really like that one. It has a little minigun on the front and some rockets on the side. There's a new faction war flag here that you can compete for. Your faction can deposit battle tokens and the faction right here we have the hive has control of this point right now and every hour they will receive a bonus of 200 influence points for their faction so it's well worth holding these control points if you make your way toward the military facility you're gonna see the overlord guard he's a really huge guy in some some sweet armor here he's got a a giant uh, bazooka thing here with um, a big minigun attached to his back. Really cool dude, and uh, he's actually going to be fightable in a future release. But right now, you'll visit him when you want to buy your different bikes, the two new bikes that have been introduced. And if you do one more step further into the military base, you'll meet Matrix. And she is a sentient being who is going to allow you to change class live in game. And when you think about this, there's a lot to a class change in Epic Duel. It was really a pretty complicated system to build because every class has a unique skill tree and of course you have unique weapons that apply only to your class. So right now I have tech mage skills and there's no way for me to learn bounty hunter or mercenary skills. So of course if you change class all of that has to change. All of your class specific weapons have to change, your armors, etc. So we've built a system that if you visit Matrix and you click class change, this is a completely new interface, highly anticipated, it's going to let you change class in game. And to sweeten the deal a little bit further, we've introduced something called the class master achievement. And it's worth a ton of rating points. So well, if, if you aren't familiar with what rating points are, you, you earn those by earning achievements, and they determine the number of stars that appear underneath your character. You'll also see your rating points here in your stat panel. So this new achievement is going to add 2,000 rating points to your rating, which is enough to guarantee that you get at least one star, and it might get you more. So well worth making the class change. Um, and that'll come free instantly when you do the class change. So right now we'll demonstrate this. I am going to become a bounty hunter. Unheard of for Titan. But we'll do click bounty hunter. You can see that everything resets on my character. Now, that doesn't mean that I've lost everything. I still have in my inventory all my weapons and all my armors. Over here all my stats have reset except I maintain my experience and my battle record. So just like retraining, this won't get rid of or reset anything um, that can't be returned to your character. We've also gone as far as um, converting some items. 
specifically the founder dual master armor so if you are a founder we've actually automatically converted in your inventory these weapons or these armors for you so you can now see that this is a bounty hunter armor whereas before I had the tech mage founder armor really neat feature and I hope that you guys give it a shot because it's really going to allow you to try all aspects of epic tool here you can see I have all the bounty hunter skills now and if you look in my achievement panel I have a lot of <laughs> Titan has a lot of achievements um, the class master achievement has now been added to my page and you'll get this immediately when you try the class change so make sure you give that a shot now that was a, a huge change for us and took a lot of time to build some other uh, things that we've added in this release are we fixed a really annoying bug if you probably a lot of you may not even have known it existed but if you would press the space bar at certain times throughout the gameplay you could access menus that you shouldn't access at certain points and it was really creating a problem for some interface issues we fixed that issue completely we've also improved the chat filter even further um, further it still needs a little bit of work because it's still identifying some language that isn't necessarily bad language so you might be still seeing some some um, false false positives there but we're working on that as far as what's to come with epic tool we've got some really neat things planned we're planning on adding skill cards or skill perks you may have heard us talk about this in the forum it's going to allow you to add custom skills to your skill tree so up to a certain point so you'll be able to pick and choose a handful of skills that you can customize your character with other things in the works and they've been in the works for a little while now are improving and finishing the housing system so that you can buy and equip items to your homes and social networking we're gonna actually add a feature that lets you take your um, your achievements and all of your accomplishments in game like say for example you beat Night Wraith the NPC you defeat him we're gonna allow you to share this on Facebook and on Twitter so that all of your friends can see that you've defeated these characters and you'll see a prompt in game that says do you want to share this accomplishment you'll just log into your account and it automatically will post to um, the respective social networking site so really excited about all these features and on top of all that Night Wraith and I have now moved to the secret underground lab uh, well not super secret it's in Florida but we left our, our old offices back home and we're now working directly with Artix and the whole crew so it's really exciting and uh, can't wait to continue